Hey YouTube, Elite Legionario here, and today I'm bringing you a 2 vs 2 battle I did. Um, as you can see, I'm in command of Dacia, my ally is in command of Macedon, his name is Napoleon, born to party. Um, the uh, Greek player is called Greasy Empire, and the um, Brutio player is Neptune 7, Heir of Rome. This guy um, subbed to my channel and requested I upload this battle, so. Um, of course, I'm willing to do what my subs want, uh, in most cases, um, this is absolutely ridiculous or something, but uh, he subbed and he wanted me to put this up, so I'm more than willing to do so. And um, as you can see, I sort of started in the middle of the action, the reason being is um, my ally here, um, Napoleon, born to party, he wouldn't didn't want to move, he was waiting for these guys to attack, and these guys didn't want to attack, and I can't stand that style of gameplay. I am an attacking player. I like to go on the offensive and seize the initiative immediately. It's just how I play. Um, some people like to sit around and be defensive, but I don't. Um, and this guy wanted to sit around and be defensive. And the problem with that is he didn't want to move, which means I couldn't attack because against two people at once, me attacking by myself would be stupid. But um, So the first few minutes of the game were just sitting there doing nothing. So I skipped that out because it's just boring, guys. And... Um, my ally here, uh, he didn't like the fact that um, it wasn't they weren't going to come to us, so he just ditched the game, and um, that means without a doubt that I'm going to lose this fight, pretty much, and which I do. But but um, I still think I do a fairly good job considering uh, I'm using Dacia, which is a pretty um, average faction against factions that are all better than me, and my ally ditched me. So um, I hate it when people do that. Um, they just he just said, "I'll oh, screw this guys," and just left. And I just thought, you know, it's just so frustrating when people do that. But um, anyway, uh, the Bruto player was a nice fella, and um, he subbed to my channel, and I'm going to um, put this up because he asked me to. So I have um, five units of gold, gold, and one experienced chosen swordsman. Two units of gold, gold, felksman. Four units of gold, gold, and one experienced noble cavalry. And four units of gold attack, chosen archer, warband. So um, I see that the Greek player is not doing things. He believe, in this in this game he believed his Spartans were totally invincible. Um, Spartans are tough, of course, but they're not invincible. No unit is invincible. But um, I have decided that uh, seeing as the Macedonian my CPU ally now is going to um, distract these. Um, the Roman player, I'm going to amass my men on this flank and I'm going to see if I can knock out the Roman player um, because a lot of pe people who play with the Greeks and stuff um, they don't move very much and um, you kind of have to capitalize on that so um, I'm using my archers here to try and weaken some of his cavalry um, but I'm going to come in here because I want to try and knock out the Roman player um, while he's at least distracted with these um, Macedonian CPU um, ally which is pretty crap um, I'm going to have keep a tight eye on these Greek cavalry out here. Um, their forces were just a lot of um, very unupgraded, or a few upgraded actually. It was a big money game, so actually yeah, a lot of gold, gold, uh, legionary cohorts, Praetorian cohorts, and Praetorian cav, Roman archers, that sort of thing. Uh, big Spartan spam here with no upgrades. Um, one of those really annoying Greek armies. Um, they believe they're invincible because they're Spartans, but they're not. Um, there's like five Cretan archers and all those cavalry. So um, I put my Falksmen in here. Um, I was meant to use them to get help with the cavalry, but um, it doesn't matter. And here I'm going to charge into the backs of these um, first cohorts. Uh, I'm just going to knock down the rest of his um, men here. But um, I'm going to get left fighting the... Um, pretty much the mass my allies done nothing. Well, my CPU allies done nothing. Here I'm going to uh, outposition his um, cavalry. He's going to come in for a mass strike on one point, but I've got infantry in as well. But now I'm going to uh, finish an encirclement on him, and he's going to, uh, as you can see, I'm going to fully encircle him. He's going to lose all his cavalry. And uh, he's pinned down a lot of his infantry on there, and his archers, as many getting shot in the back by my archers. So, um, if you're watching, um, Neptune, um, you asked if, uh, some um, ideas. Uh, be careful that your cab don't get surrounded like this because they'll suffer mor morale damage and um, even inferior cab can beat you that way. Um, and try not to let your men get shot in the back too much by arrows. It can make a significant difference to the outcome of the battle. Um, but uh, these Spartans coming in, and my men have just got no way of beating them. Well, I, probably, I could beat them if I didn't have to worry about the Brutii player. I'm confident I could beat them because they've got no upgrades. 
Um, and if I just out position them, I'd easily beat them. So yeah, I'm going to run down some of these uh, crescent arches and whatnot. But I really need to get my men over here to help my um, infantry. Um, and good on you, uh, Neptune, for not urban spamming. It's always a very pleasant sight in my book. Um, I get sick and tired of fighting urban cohort all the time. So here I'm going to come for a ham and amble, but I don't have many men, and I got a wee bit interrupted by these retreating men here. So I'm going to withdraw again. And um, these Spartans are coming in. Now, if I'd had time to knock out the um, Brugio player, Neptune, a wee bit faster, I could have beaten this guy, I reckon. Because um, I still had lots of archers, and I had cavalry, which could have run down his creations. So, um, here I'm going to come in for some hammer and ambles. Um, I mean, are holding good, but that's just my upgrade speaking for the most part. But, uh, well, that other CPU ally, you generally, against decent, even just decent players, or just, you know, players who have an idea of what they're doing, um, you'll likely lose. But as you can see, most of his infantry is about to collapse. Um, I've got them fully in circle, but the Spartans are now coming in, and that's going to be a big, big issue. Um, I'm trying to find chunky ways around his, um, his men, but, uh, I, I'm confident I would have been able to beat him had these um, Spartans not come to assist him. And um, there's very little I can do. As you can see, even without the upgrades, the way in which the Spartans fight is much too much for these chosen swordsmen. So, um, it's unfortunate, but it's just the way it goes. Um, so here I'm going to move to the flanks, shoot the Spartans up. Um, I'm working with whatever I can here, but very, I'm very, very limited, eh? Um, again, my AI... AI Ally just ditched, and that really stinks. But uh, here I'm going to charge into these legionary first. But uh, because the Spartans are in there now, they're um doing good. But he's done like a pretty terrible thing with them. He's just clumped them in like this, and it's never a good idea. So um, but uh, people have got this really stupid misconception um that Spartans are just invincible. It's not true, guys. Um. They're not, they're tough. They're, admittedly, they are tough, but they are not invincible. Um, I've beaten them lots of times, and to be honest, the Greek city-states is not a faction I find particularly hard to defeat. Rome is way tougher than the Greek city-states. Um, any decent player, or any player with experience in this game will know this. Everyone comes in and spams Spartans, because they, they watch their movie 300 and they think they're invincible. But um, they're tough, but they're really expensive which makes them pretty hard to employ in large numbers and they're um and and uh, like for instance they're not as um like I would definitely every time say urban cohort are better than Spartans simply because they can go toe to toe with them they've got peeler they can thin their numbers out before they even engage they can out position them much easier like hit the side of the Spartan unit and that'll waste the Spartans they can be used in sieges on the walls as opposed to the Spartans can't get into formation on the walls they're like 300 denarii cheaper um, and in campaign you can build them in any city that's got an urban barracks as opposed to in the campaign you can only build Spartans in Sparta and Syracuse so all in all urban cohorts are definitely better than Spartans I don't care what anyone says um, I, I've done it before, I mean, I've used Urbans and um, beaten up Spartans, but, I mean, Spartans can beat Urbans, they can, but um, it's just much easier to win with Urbans than it is with Spartans, it's just fact, um, and it kind of annoys me how everyone who, like, comes with Spartans thinks they're invincible, and then you just, like, beat them, and then they say you cheated or something, you know, um, they're good, I mean, they're really good, but they're not um, invincible. No unit's invincible. Every unit can be beaten if you just use tactics to defeat them. Um, and because these guys are a phalanx unit, their flanks and rear are vulnerable and easy to beat. Um, much more so than uh, with Roman infantry, you know. So, uh, anyway, it's my little rant for the day. But, um,. Obviously I'm going to get defeated, I can't fight two armies at once, but I did significant damage to um, Neptune. And, um, but uh, I was never going to win that, because my uh, ally just ditched, and that, that's terrible, that's just really bad um, sportsmanship, you know, if you don't like a situation, just ditch your ally, unless you're like, oh, you've really got to go, if something's come up and you've got to leave, you know, go out or something, then obviously just say, sorry guys, I've got to go, or whatever, but um, 
just ditching. I just think that's rude. And it shows poor sportsmanship. It really does. Um, it really that really annoys me. When people do that. Um, I, I mean, I completely understand if you've um, really got to go, but just tell them, you know. But it, but you know, just ditching games and um, quitting and stuff. It's just not good. So I'm just on triple speed towards the end here, guys. Um, but um, I hope this satisfies you, um, Neptune. Um, he subscribed, like I said, and he asked if I'd put this up, and so I have. And uh, there's the end results. Um, clear, it's a clear defeat, but I attribute that most of the fact that my ally was a CPU and ditched. And as you can see, I got just as many kills as these guys um, who I fought. I had 1,189 men, got 1,032 kills, and had 262 men remaining. Um, these guys obviously got up into the thousands as well and pretty much didn't lose. I destroyed more than half of um, Neptune's army, but uh, that Greek army, I couldn't really do much about it. I was too depleted or too um, absorbed in the Brutii army. But as you can see, my Chosen Swordsman did good. My Barbarian Cav did good. My Falcon, my Falcon were really the only units that didn't perform. Everything else did good. But I mean, I just can't... Like, sometimes I can defeat two opponents um, if I get really, you know, really lucky. But um, generally speaking, if you're fighting two opponents who are competent and know what they're doing, it's going to be very hard. Um, particularly when you're using a faction like Dacia against the Romans and the Greeks. So, um... That's kind of an annoying thing that my ally ditch, but people do that, unfortunately. So I um, hope this has uh, been good, Neptune. Um, I think you've definitely got potential for being a good player there. Um, just, you know, don't... Um, try not to keep, keep your units moving, I guess, would be my advice to you. Um, you know, just keep momentum going. Uh, keep an eye on everything. Basically, I've found in this game is the, um, the faster you can micro is... I mean, I'm not saying tactics are not an important part of it, but usually I find micromanagement is what, um, which, you know, just how fast you can move everything around the field was usually the cause of victories. The faster I micro, I usually get greater victories when I play. So um, when, I, when I micro bad, I usually get defeated. So uh, just practice on that. I, I'm still working on that one too, so I think a lot of people are. But um, anyway, I hope this um, everyone enjoyed this. Um, it is obviously a defeat, but I'm not unsatisfied because I've got plenty of kills. So anyway, hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.